When you think of a speedrun, you obviously think of beating a game in a very short amount of time. But under two minutes is not something that happens very often. This was what I thought when I beat Amnesia the Bunker for the first time, which took me a respectable six hours to beat in my first playthrough. And then I found out that the world record for the speedrun is just over a minute and a half, which is wild. Another thing that's wild is that you watching are probably not subscribed, so why don't you click the subscribe button to keep up with my content. Now, I've done a couple of speedruns in the past, but nothing close to under two minutes. So I thought I would give the speedrun a go and see how high I could place on the leaderboard. Let's just say you won't be seeing much of this beautiful big boy during this speedrun. Enjoy. Oh, what I might do before I end stream actually. Let's go watch that speedrun. Uh, 1 minute 37, here we go. This will be good, because maybe this will be my next speedrun game. Yeah, I'm Ninja the Manga speedrun 1 minute 37 by Blood Thunder. So he plays on easy, which yeah, makes sense. Sorry, sorry Blood Thunder, we're just gonna skip ahead a little bit. So wait, when does the time start? Oh, the time starts at the end of the loading screen. Interesting. So it'd be even shorter if it started after this cutscene. I like how almost half the run is just this one cutscene. <laughs> that's, uh, that's mad. About a minute of the run is a half scene. A half scene, a cutscene. So you go... What the fuck did he do? Oh, the fuck? You grab a box and then you just pop yourself through, jump around, jump around, jump into the void, hit the loading trigger. You run along the top. Oh, this is literally the end of the game. You're li literally at the end of the game. Oh, you give yourself a wee rocket boost there. Why does he fucking do that? God damn. And then you, a wee slide. Oh, you hit that, you slide. Was this, okay, so this was the fork. Oh, it's a spade. But this was the fork you mentioned that he jumps on and flies with, it looks like. So I'm assuming he uses prop walking. Yeah. And he just flies himself up and over. And then he's done, I guess. And time. Fucking <laughs> fuck. That's insane. Let me just, uh... Let's see if I can figure this out. Uh, <laughs> just a, a little a little quick end of stream, figure out how to speed run. So the time would start as soon as this stuff disappears, right? So it's time to start now. I like how a minute of the speed run is, is taken up by, by this. There's no, like, way to skip, right? Yeah. So he... Grabs this. I don't think that's right. I presume behind the bed. <laughs> I am now just stuck behind the bed. Oh! That was something. Yeah, there is out of bounds. See if I can do this right now. So what it looked like, it looked like he pulled the item or the box close to his face. So he grabs this, brings it over here. And then, I think I'm gonna mess this up. Fuck! <laughs> All right, I, that is enough for today. We have the uh, guide for it by Blood Thunder, who I don't know if he's, is he the world record holder currently? He's eighth, he's, I think eighth is pretty good. I am aiming for, you know, a top 100. We already kind of have an idea of how it goes based on watching the speed run. Like we don't need to grab the box, glitch into the wall, jump around a corner, jump into a loading zone, and then fly on a shovel or something like that. I mean, I do have live slip, but uh, the Game Pass version doesn't automate. So that little flash there is when you start time. Gotcha, that's good to know. You have to sit through this whole intro and then, and then we start here. Yeah, so I know you have to grab the box. And now you want to hit your rotate key. And then That's hit rotate. So they'll bring it. Okay, that I worked that part out myself that you have to bring it in close and then glitch it into you. I know that you have to like double click it. So you like let go and drop and then that pops you through a wall. But is that like the only tech? Quickly let go of grab and hold it once again. And then that just pops you through. That's a good starting point. Flip through wall, number one, we have this. What he said was, we go over here. You want to grab like there bring it over look down oh well yeah just just like that well first time that's <laughs> That was uh, a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, I'm not going to lie. I'll try this a couple of times, and then we will see how that goes. If I can consistently get it, then hey-ho, that's wonderful. I'm pretty sure the next part of the speedrun anyway is literally just uh, run to a loading zone, or jump around a corner and then run to a loading zone, and then you literally load into the end of the game, 
<laughs> it's such a good game, but I love that you can beat it in two minutes. All right, so we want to go here. We want to grab the box. Whoops. Grab the box, stand here, zoom it in, look down, and pop here. Nice. That was, yeah, very, very simple and easy. It's going to be a lot uh, quicker than I thought it was going to be, I'll be honest. <laughs> Usually these speedrun videos are one stream me learning the speedrun, the second stream me doing the speedrun. To be fair, it's a, a two-minute speedrun. I, I, I really doubted myself that I, was, <laughs> that I wasn't going to be able to learn it quite quickly when I have speedrun in the past. Let's have a look at the second part. Yeah, pretty sure it's jump, jump around a beam and then just go to a load point. And you want to aim... Right about there. That should hit the map load screen. And so that in the loads right. into there. Cool. Let's give that one a try. I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be quite simple. I don't want to toot my own horn, but I feel like I am perfectly capable of doing this. Yeah. Oh, oh uh, shit. Oh, okay. We're good. And yeah, that's that part of the run. I... Just gonna say it. I don't think I need to practice that one. I think I am I am good just doing that one once. I feel like <laughs> I will be fine. It's the next part I am not too sure about, slash, I feel like I'm gonna struggle with a little bit. Oh, okay, maybe not the next part. This part's you just you just fall down a hole, I'm pretty sure. Back in bounds. Careful not to drop off the map. And then you just wanna sprint, and you should drop in right here in the tunnel. Again, I have a feeling this should be pretty, pretty simple. So I need to go this way. Big rock here. Fall in there and then fall in bounds. Again, don't need to practice that one. I think I will be a-okay. <laughs> and then once we're in bounds, what happens? The only part that actually matters because the monster will spawn in and if you're not fast enough, he will kill you. That's the part I'm concerned about that I'm not going to be fast enough and I will die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the prop flying, which a uh, little concerned about. There is a fun little trick you can do here, but if you jump off of this, you kind of do a curve in the air and land on this slope, you can get some momentum. Oh, and then you'd launch yourself forward. I mean, I'll give that, I'm not going to practice that because I'm pretty sure as soon as you drop down, uh, you know what, yeah, fuck, fuck it, I will do that. Why not? Let's, get, let's give that a go. So I run all the way over here and then... Look at the look at that. Perfectly flawless. Man, I'm so good at this game. Absolutely flawless with no problems. I feel like we can attempt that. I don't think it's gonna go well if we do though. But I may attempt it in the future for actual runs. But I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference for me. Right, the next part. Alright, so we're gonna jump on the shovel, double click it, jump once, and then start sprinting and moving the mouse up a little bit so you're flying up in the air. It, he makes it look so easy and simple and just anyone can do it. Wow, amazing. Uh, and then there's me who's, mm, we'll see how it goes. And as soon as you lose control, right about there, that's where your time's going to end. Once okay, again, that's nice and easy. Up. And I assume that's, yeah, that's, that's it. Okay, let's give that a go before the monster kills me, shall we? So there's the monster spawns. So you want to jump on the shovel, double click it, jump once, and then start sprinting. Oh, this is a, a okay. Meh, yeah, okay. Never mind. That's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. That is a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Cool. <laughs> Let me just load last save. That was uh, wow. Well, that was going to be so much more difficult. First try, huh? I mean, I am a speedrunning prodigy. What can I say? I've speed ran two games so far, and only one of them I've managed to actually finish. Uh, <laughs> right, let's give that another go. I'm pretty sure I should load in right at the beginning. Okay, I guess we're, we're loading in right at the beginning, and we're going to do a full run, apparently. At this point, I decided to practice doing a couple full runs before actually starting to time them. Because, you know, doing each skip bit by bit after watching a guide right before trying it doesn't really give you the same experience as just doing it all at once. I'm going to practice a full run and then I'm going to start timing them once I've had a little bit of practice, I reckon. All right, so we go over here, grab box friend into corner. That's wrong. Cool. So much for me being an expert and a pro. Grab box, go over to corner. Zoom in, look down, double click, land here, go around here, jump into loading zone, along this way, drop down into hole, shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. We're gonna go for the uh, the amazing damage boost here. 
Look at that. Perfectly flawless. Man, I'm, I'm so good at this game. We want to jump on shovel, double click, jump once, and then... Oh, 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 I might fall off. No, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Bam. He has it. Incredible. Truly incredible. And then you crouch. Push rock. It said push, push rock. Uh... Uh, I'm stuck. Why? <laughs> I think uh, I think the game broke. In a way, I didn't want it to. That's fine. That's <laughs> the game just broke. Maybe the game doesn't like you uh, resetting. I did. I mean, I found a new bug that just stops you from completing a speed run. All right, we'll give one more one more attempt here, and then we'll start from the beginning and try and get an actual uh, speed run on the go. I was, I honestly I was expecting learning the speed run to be take a lot longer than what half an hour that I've been streaming for. <laughs> But I think I'll probably get a solid run fairly, fairly quickly at the rate things are going. I think, honestly, the mo most difficult one is fucking not messing up this goddamn box. So grab box, bring him over, duck into corner, zoom in, look down. That, see, that's, that's the problem. It's nice that you can skip the actual, like, going through the trenches intro. I imagine there's not much to skip there in terms of glitches. But having that in, you know, makes speedrun less interesting. When you're like, oh, a speedrun's less than two minutes. People are like, oh, damn. But if you had the intro, it'd be like, hey, the speedrun's maybe seven or eight minutes. And people are like, oh, okay, cool, I guess. Do this. Zoom in. Look straight down. Oh, I keep glitching backwards instead of to the side. Why did I do it flawlessly? the first time. The first couple of attempts, boom, flawless. Now I'm actually wanting to get full runs on the go. <laughs> it's just not working. I think, yeah, I think I'm probably pushing myself like right up against the bed rather than by the wall instead. And that's what's messing me up. Game is definitely a lot less scary <laughs> when you literally skip everything and only see the monster out the corner of your eye. <laughs> right, so we want to grab the box like here. want to R. There we go. And then we go this way, over here, jump into the void, try and turn. There we go. I think, yeah, I think turning there saves us like a, like a, oh, don't jump off. Don't fall off. And then shimmy your way into this hole. Perfect. Go for the speed boost here. Damn. Maybe a little bit. I don't think it's uh, exactly meant to be like that, but it's fine. Jump on shovel, double click, jump once, and then... Start shimmying your way up. Little jump at the end. I wasn't quite high enough there. And then do this. And then start shoving. And then boom. And that's where time would be. There you go. There's a first completed run. Not official, but is technically the first completed run. So I did it. I beat Amnesia the Bunker very quickly. Let's get some proper runs on the go, shall we? Now, it was time to actually start timing my runs. And as you can see from that first 20 minutes of learning and practice, I was ready to do everything flawlessly. <laughs> as streaming me mentioned earlier, I was using the Game Pass version of the game, which meant that the load remover would not work for it. So I was going off real time. Let's uh, do our first official run. Start and skip intro, and then we need our reaction speed to be BAM. Just keep an eye on the little lantern. As soon as it flashes, timer starts, and we're good. See if the timer doesn't start or I look away for a second. <laughs> Just mess it all up for myself. Go. Again, it's literally the, the first minute of this is just cutscenes. My goal is under two minutes. That is my goal for the first one. It's a pretty, pretty decent goal for a pretty big goal for the first one. So stand like here. R, look in. Fuck. Well, there goes my under two minutes. Uh, <laughs> there we go. That was not great. Around here. Can I bring the time back? Can I do a little turn? And I fucked up. <laughs> At least it brought me back over here. Where's, where's the fucking load? Is it... <laughs> oh, that was, that was horrendous. I was just hyping myself up. And I absolutely <laughs> shit the bed on it. Oh, that was embarrassing. Right, this time for sure. I won't fuck up right away and things will be actually good. I was so, I was so focused on hitting the, the timer to start <laughs> that I forgot how to do the actual speed run. I think for a, uh, a first attempt, under three minutes should be a goal and then slowly improve on that. I think end of stream goal is under two minutes. All right, we grab it here, over here. Look about there, R, look in. 
pop over. Let's not mess us up. Aim about there. God, what? What? It, uh, really? There we go. God damn it. And that fucked me over. Apparently they have a death animation for falling out of bounds. Who would have thought? Oh. I don't know what that is, but I do not want to fucking deal with that. Uh, I'm very, I am very curious though. What the fuck is this? What just that? Okay, apparently, yeah, that's just the, uh, the, the death animation for infinitely falling. Wonderful. We're gonna, we're gonna restart that one, huh? Let's give, let's give that another go. So I think I'm aiming too f close to the actual, like, hole part and not at the actual loading zone. Third time's the charm. Overconfidence is an insidious killer. I was so confident that I was gonna, this was gonna be super easy. And in practice, it was too, that, well, not easy, but it wasn't that bad. I got everything mostly first time. It's putting it all together. My brain panics. I think that's my, my problem. First couple of runs, take my time. Don't try and do fancy 180 quick turns. Just aim for where I need to go. This time for sure is a finished run. Guarantee it. Grab box. Box's friend. Over here by wall. R, look down. Hop through. Aim about there. Are you fucking... Mmm. That's... That's upsetting. I don't know where I'm meant to be aiming. I don't know why my brain is just blanked. But I genuinely have just forgotten. Where where am I meant to be aiming? So look where this rock kind of ends, and you want to aim right. So I want to look just about there. That should hit the map loads. Okay, just at the darkness after the rock ends. Remember that. That is important. Don't just go aiming randomly. I think I was just kind of ho <laughs> aiming in the darkness somewhere and hoping for the best. Was uh was my my plan for those last couple? Didn't didn't quite work out. Overshot it by quite a lot. Henry's really having a bad day. <laughs> Keeps falling into the void and then waking up in a hospital bed. I'm missing war as hell. Right, grab this. Grab there. Easy. Go here. R, look down. Hop on through. Run over. Aim about here. Uh, where's my trigger? There we go. It's not particularly <laughs> smooth, I'll be honest. But uh, hey, first completed run. This'll be it. And before I die to the fucking monster, right here. Because I panic. We'll just hop our little selves along. Jump onto this. Double click, jump once, and float ourselves up. Nice and easy, nice and smooth. And we're good. Here, and time. Hey! Under three minutes like I had hoped. Next goal is under two minutes. I think if I don't, if I don't fuck up the, uh, <laughs> the loading zone, I think that was 100% under, under two minutes. I'm pretty happy for a first fully completed run. I can actually say I have a fully completed fucking speed run in this game, unlike some other games, which I can never clutch out at the end. Hello Neighbor 2. And then got updated before I could get a finished speedrun. But I actually have one now. Pretty good for a first attempt. And there we go. Very simple. I'm a pro at this game now. That's how it works, right? And then, uh, in all good speedrun fashion, we go again. Goal this time is to not mess up the load zone jump and get under two minutes. I thought for sure it would be the, uh, the shovel uh, item flying that would get me. Oh, I... Fucked up. I wasn't paying attention for the, for the lantern to, to flicker. Right, pay attention to the lantern, flick, lantern flickering this time, rather than <laughs> talking to chat. Silence for this part. That's fading to black, and boom. Go. Right, grab box, bing box over to wall. Zoom in, look down, hop over, sprint round, aim for about here. Hit load zone, that's perfect. Don't fall off the edge on the other side, please. There we go. Perfect. Let me do a little shimmy. Said we do a little shimmy. Game. There we go. Shimmying could be a little better, but that's fine. Didn't get this damage boost, but that's fine. We're gonna bunny hop. Jump onto shovel. Double click. Jump once and. Oh, that's not high enough. 
I'm just dragging along the ground. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy. Not quite working out there, huh? I think I think I was just walking on the shovel and just dragging it along the ground for that one. So, you know, not, not the best. I think that's the first time I've so far I've fucked up the shovel flying. And so much less scary this game when you just jump through a wall, fly over the monster, and then leave. <laughs> Grab ox friend over here. Look down. Off through wall. Run. Jump into load zone. Perfect. I think I've got that load zone jumping into nailed down now. I am, <laughs> after fucking it up so many times, I've now got it. Right, shimmy. See, the problem with the last one was my shimmy was bad. This shimmy. There we go. Perfect. It's the shimmy difference. That's all it is. Right. Jump onto there. Double click. Jump once. And then... Yeah, there we go. There we go. This is looking like the under two minutes. Oh, don't die from fall damage. Can you imagine if I died from fall damage there? <laughs> that would be embarrassing. And time. 155. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Hey, that's a whole seven seconds I saved by not fucking up and on the shimmy difference. I don't know what... <laughs> I don't know what I could do much better there. <laughs> Um, no, there's definitely a lot I can do much better. Probably the shovel flying being smoother, the shimmying being faster, the set the setup for the box 100% could be like a few seconds faster. And then orienting myself for after the, uh, the loading zone trigger. So I may be facing the other way instead of having to turn around myself. Just a couple of things that add up. Oh, and also the, the damage boost bounce 100% could do that a lot faster. And by do that a lot faster, I mean actually, actually do it, you know? Let's go again. 155 is the time to beat. Loading definitely takes like at least five seconds. There is a, a hard limit of what time can be when you don't have loading removed. Man, if you really want to go hard on getting the world record for this game, you need to watch this intro so many times because you have to save milliseconds if you just want to grind it out. <laughs> go grab box over here, over here. Uh, R, look down, double click, go, go, go. Then jump and turn. I fucked up. That's fine. I never wanted to make that run work in the first place. Again, I'm attempting <laughs> to do some tech that I don't even know will work or is helpful by turning before the loading zone. <laughs> I feel like it doesn't really, I put it on easy, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter what difficulty you put it on because ideally you would never actually interact with the monster unless on like expert difficulty, the monster spawns in the same room you wake up in and you have to <laughs> escape from it. But I feel like the, even the devs aren't that cruel. Just imagine you, you see the screen, there's the blurry flashes and you're just like, oh, I'm slowly waking up. And then you look at the end of the bed and just big guy just standing there watching you. <laughs> well, that's true horror slash how that's that's how you solve video game difficulty. You make the hardest difficulty basically impossible and then nobody can beat it. All right, let's try this again, but not be a stupid idiot. Ox, grab over here into wall. R, look down, clip through, start sprinting, get caught on a wall. Hit load trigger, that's fine. This will be slower because I hit the, the car, got caught in the wall. Unless my shimmy is absolutely flawless. Uh, it's not, it's not. Oh, 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 I was wrong. My shimmy is absolutely flawless. We're not gonna go for the damage boost because I feel like if I just jump and go, I will be quicker. I feel like, yeah, just jumping and going there because I could get, I could get it here. Jump on, double click, jump, and then go. Fly, you fool. It's fine. Maybe a bit high. That's okay. Got caught at the end there. I don't think it's faster. I'm pretty sure it's not faster. Time. 153! That is faster by two seconds. I'll take that. Hey, in a game that the speed runs only two minutes, two seconds is a lot. That's like a tenth of the max. No, that's not how that's not how time works. <laughs> That is not how numbers work, though. Nope, that is just me <laughs> making shit up there. I really hope I get a faster time so the mods on speedrun.com don't hear me <laughs> say that two seconds is at a hundredth of two minutes. <laughs> I swear I'm not an idiot. I know how to tell the time. Now, here's where things went from not too bad, honestly, to just plain awful. <laughs> this stretch of like 20 minutes, I could not get a run going at all. 
and when I did, I messed it up shortly after. So instead of cutting it all out, I thought you watching would like to see all of my worst failures. 202, 55, and then 53. So let's go for let's go for 50. If I as long as I don't get stuck on that pole and get that shimmy perfectly, this I can definitely get in before I definitely mess up here. <laughs> I think I can I'm doing the, the the box part very well, I think. I don't think there's much I can improve on for that. Jump to about there, hit the trigger. Oh, we got the okay, we got the turn. This might actually be good. If we get a good shimmy here, this might actually be very good. Yeah, that was uh, that was what we call not a good uh, good shimmy. That was <laughs> maybe the worst shimmy. <laughs> Aim for about there. That's I think my momentum's carrying, and I'm about to careen off the edge. Not great. Yeah, that's that's that, that's fucked up. That's I messed that one up. I just need to do better. Is <laughs> is what it comes down to. I just need to be doing better. We aim about there. We hit the load. Perfect. This. Oh, this could be. Oh, oh, this is good. This is good. This is good. Just don't mess up the shimmy. And we're all good. That was very good. Okay. I'm feeling this run. Jump onto it. Double click. Jump once. This is good. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. Oh, he falls off. Oh, that's so upsetting. He falls off. I have. I fell off as a speedrunner. That would have been it if I didn't oh, if I just position myself correctly on the shovel that would have been ideal three things in this game and I'm if you mess up one of them then that's it over two I think I think I panicked there because I knew I was doing so well look down oh you 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 I hate you I hate you so much I hate you and by you I mean myself <laughs> oh, oh don't continue the game and showing me my failure here I accidentally clicking continue <laughs> it's a balance between taking the time to set up correctly and being fast enough <laughs> to do better than i have done in the past which is a hard balance i just described speedrunning there to be honest just in general <laughs> not just this game just general speedrunning even if i get a 151 i will be happy that is that is my goal 151 so i can be 99th place so if i say oh i'm the, the 100th best speedrunner they're like oh okay but i would say i'm in the top 100 they're like oh that's exciting even if it's a one second difference it's still <laughs> to me it matters whether or not i get that though that's the problem here oh, you... mm. hey at least it's another game i can say hey i can speed run this casually and people will be like cool we don't we don't care why why are you talking to us about this and yeah it's uh, just how it, <laughs> how it goes i've seen henry's feet a thousand times by now. Grab box, bring box over, over here into corner, look down, click through, don't get caught on wall, jump hit trigger. I jumped off the edge. Oh, I didn't jump off the edge. A good shimmy makes all the difference. A, a good shimmy makes all the difference. Uh, that's a bad shimmy. This is a very bad shimmy. I, yeah, okay, cool. But I can do it flawlessly in before I mess this up right here. I think I messed up the timing. I think I messed up the timer for that. I'm, I'm just going to restart that just in case I messed up the timer. Get the shimmy right. Actually start the timer. You know, it's good when you, you time a speedrun so that you can know how fast you have done it. It's almost like that's the, the main part of a speedrun. <laughs> Pay attention to the little, the little lantern. I started it too early there. I started it too early. Fuck. Go in. It trigger that's not the trigger fuck me i feel like i am perfectly capable of doing this grab box over here r look down i messed up i messed up that's the one thing maybe about speed running I, I, i'm maybe not a fan of is just yeah the monotony of it which that's fine it's fine because when i get world record when i get world record he says uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be great. I'm a world record. I mean the 151 uh, time I am aiming for. My world record. My PB. My 99th place on the leaderboard. We aim for about there. That's actually kind of flawless. That was the smoothest. Oh no. Oh no. Well, it wasn't flawless. Fuck. 151. I'm feeling it now. If I say if I say I'm feeling it now every single attempt, I'm for sure going to get it in one of them. 
<laughs> That's how it works, right? You just gotta be confident every single time. And then eventually that will pay off. Get box, grab box over here, go here. R, look down and fuck up. Nice, cool. Okay, so I had gone from actually doing pretty well in runs to just messing up on the easiest parts of the run. But when all hope was lost, something clicked in my brain and my redemption was here. I'm now at the point where like, in order to beat my PB, I need to not mess up. And that's the problem, because I don't perform well under pressure, <laughs> especially when you have to do very precise things. And the only one pressuring me is me, but I'll get it this time. I mean, yes, it's the, it's the, uh, the, the minute or so start to this, which is my, uh, <laughs> which is I don't like. If I was like right into it right away and go, well, this minute, like I get in my head and you have to watch Henry get out of bed every single time, literally limbo. The worst thing of you could experience in hell, sorry, not limbo, hell, is every every two minutes you have to wake up and get out of bed. The worst, the worst punishment. <laughs> Waking up. Grab that over here. There are. Pop through. Perfect. Aim about there. That's fine. It might be a bit low down. It's not a bit low down. That's actually flawless. Right, good shimmy, good shimmy, good shimmy. Good shimmy. Oh, the perfect shimmy. Oh, don't mess this up. Not going to go for the damage boost. Position yourself correctly on the shovel. So about here, double click, jump once. Oh, this is it. I'm not even like too tall or too high or anything. Oh, this is good. This is good. This is good. And time. 50. We did it. 150. We did it. That's it. That is 99th place. Or maybe 98th. I don't know, but I got it. That was the smoothest it could have gone. I honestly, I don't think I'm getting better than that. I think that is my peak. Everything went perfectly and flawless and I, I, I can't do better than that. I got an incredible box there. I got an incredible trigger load into. The shimmy was basically like flawless. It was maybe like half a second I could have saved. And the shovel was so smooth. I think I paused for like half a second to position myself. But honestly, pausing to position myself, definitely the play there. Otherwise, I, I fuck up and uh, lose again. <laughs> it's basically what it comes down to. Now, that was a roller coaster of a speed run. I started off doing actually so well. And then I nearly gave up because things were going so badly. And then I finally got the exact time I needed to place in the top 100. 98 at the time to be exact. Now, since then, a new faster route has been found involving using a chair to clip through another wall, which has made me drop below top 100, but I probably won't be giving this new route a try. I'm perfectly happy with my time in top 100, even if it was brief. If anyone has any other games that they think would be fun for me to try and speedrun, then please do let me know and subscribe to the channel to see any videos I end up making on those games. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.